Hi, this is Rick Sandberg. I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems in our Portland, Oregon office. And in this blog, I'm going to discuss the basics of the wire cabling order command in SOLIDWORKS Electrical. This command allows very detailed level of control over how our devices are connected. So with our schematic, we can do some pretty complex wiring of devices. An example of some complex wiring would be this first phase of a three-phase wire coming from my Q1 breaker and then branching with this branch point out to a K1 contactor and a K2 contactor. So electrically how would, or physically how would this be wired up? Well we could do one of two ways. We could have two wires coming from this terminal of the Q1 breaker and one going to this terminal of the K1 contactor relay and the other wire going to this terminal of the K2 contactor relay. But it would be just as equivalent to run one wire from Q1 to K1 and then a separate wire from K1 to K2. So which one do we have? We don't really know with our current labeling scheme for our wires. So let me adjust that first by going to my project tab of the command river ribbon configurations and wire styles. From here I can set my one, my numbering scheme from equal potential to wire, update it, and see that I actually have my two wires labeled, 4 and 7. And right now both 4 and 7 are being connected up to this 2T1 terminal of the Q1 breaker and then branching off to each of the contactor relays. Maybe we want to do it a different way. So to do that, what we can do is right click and select the wire cabling order command. So right away what we can see from this command is the wire that we're dealing with is the L1-2 wire with each of the individual wires 4 and 7 with their origin Q1 in both cases and then their destination Q1 in one or K1 in one and K2 in the other. So we have some buttons that we can use to set the different origin point or even easier I can do a drag drop. I want my wire 7 to originate from K1 so I can drag it right down into the origin and drop it. Now I have K1 as the origin. It's running from K1 to K2. It even gives me a nice little icon letting me know that I've manually updated this um, from the automatic scheme. I can even right click and set this as my automatic cabling order hit OK and now we can see from the wire numbering that we're running one wire from Q1 to K1 and another wire from K1 to K2. So there you go. Basics of using the wire cabling order command in SOLIDWORKS Electrical. Thanks for watching.